So let's do this question. A three digit number ABC on multiplication with D gives 37DD where ABCD are different non zero digits. Find the value of A plus B plus C. So you have a three digit number ABC, you are multiplying with a single digit D and you are getting a four digit number that is 3700 and something. And one specialty is the last two digits is same as the digit you are multiplying with. And I need to find the sum of A plus B plus C. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use trial and error method to figure out what are the possible values of ABC here. Okay. Now let's start with finding out what could be the possible value of D. So can D be 1? So that means you're multiplying a three digit number with one, you are getting a four digit number that is 3700 or something. Is it possible? No, right? It's not possible because maximum uh, a three digit number, a max three digit number you can think about is triple nine. When you multiply by one, will you get a number, four digit number, 3700 or something? It's not possible, right? So D cannot be one. What about D can be two? Can you multiply by two? Will you get 3700 or something? It definitely is going to be less than 2000, right? I can take it as 1000 times 2, it's 2000. So, triple nine when you multiply by 2, it's definitely less than 2000. So, D is equal to 2 is not a possibility. Similarly, I can say D is equal to 3. What about this? Do you think it's possible? Will you be getting a four digit number 3700 and uh, something? No. Because max you can get is 1000 times 3 is uh, 3000. So, your answer, like when you multiply by 3, it's going to be less than 3000. So, this will not be your answer. But it can be 4. D can be 4. So, because it's possible, right? Because uh, it's possible to get this product when you multiply by 4. So, D can be 4, 5, 6, up till 9. So, I need to figure out what are the possible values of D. So, again, I'm going to use trial and error method here to figure out uh, what are the possible values of D here, okay? Let's start with the first case. D is equal to 4. That means A, B, C times 4 you're getting the final product is 3744 because since the last two digit is same as the digit you are multiplying with i can say the final product we are getting is 3744 so instead of uh, randomly plugging in values and finding out what are the possible values of abc what you can easily do is you just need to divide so i know that abc times 4 is equal to 3744 so you can easily find abc you just need to divide 3744 by 4. That's it. And the divisibility rule of 4 is the last two digits should be divisible by 4. Yes, it is divisible. 44 is a multiple of 4. So definitely this number 3744 is divisible by 4. So you can divide it 37, 9 times, remainder is 1, 14, 3 times 12, remainder is 2, 24, uh, 6 times. So 936 is the number. So, you can clearly say that one of the possible scenarios is 936. So, ABC is 936. And the question is asking you to find what is the value of A plus B plus C. So, it's going to be 9 plus 3 plus 6, which is 12 plus 6, 18 is the answer. So, clearly, we can say 18 is one of the possible answers, right? Because we don't know, is there any other possibilities, right? It can be D, can be 5, 6, we don't know it. So, since one of the answers cannot be determined, at this stage, what we can say is we can eliminate B and C. Your correct answer could be uh, A. If this is the only possible option, D is 4. This could be the only possible answer, right? Sum is 18. Or there could be one more possible number ABC and the sum is different. In that case, it cannot be determined because there are multiple values possible for sum of ABC. In that case, you should mark option uh, D as answer. So, at this stage, depends on how much time you have, you should take a, a decision here, right? So, either you can go with A or you can go with D. So, let's see what, what, what you need to do. Like, you know, it depends if, because you need to try for other numbers. So, it can be time consuming. So, at this stage, you should take a decision. So, let's, let's try to figure out, uh, is it possible other numbers are possible for D? Okay, let's try it out. So, till 4, we discussed, what about 5? D is equal to 5. So, I know I want to find ABC. So, ABC, easy way to find is, I know that 3, 7, DD is the product. You divide that by D. This is an easy way to find the three-digit number ABC, okay? 
So I'm going to check for uh, uh, d is equal to 5. So when d is equal to 5, the value abc is going to be 3755 instead of d, you replace it by 5, divide by 5, right? It's possible to divide because it's a multiple of 5. So you're getting 37. How many times are there? 7 times you have 2751. See, this is a possibility. So ABC can be 751. But in this case, the sum is equal to 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 1 is 13. The sum is a different number. But there is a condition given here. A, B, C, D are different non-zero digits. Since this condition is given, this scenario you cannot consider. Because see, this number, this digit and this digit D are actually the same. It's clearly given that A, B, C, D are different non-zero. They should be different numbers. Since these two are the same, we cannot consider this scenario. Else, you are like, you know, this is also a possible scenario. Because of this condition, we cannot uh, take this uh, into consideration. So, I cannot take D is equal to 5. is not a possibility. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to try for D is equal to 6. So, when D is equal to 6, you have ABC is equal to 3766. You just need to divide that by 6. So, instead of entirely dividing it, you can always use the divisibility rule. What is divisibility rule of 6? To check a number is divisible by 6, what do you need to do? You just need to check whether the number is divisible by 2 and 3. And the divisibility rule of 2 is, it should be an even number. That is already, it's an even number, right? 3766, it should be an even number. And for 3, it's very simple. If I want to check a number is divisible by 3, what I need to do is, you take the sum of the digits and check whether it's divisible by 3 or not. So here, I just need to add the digits. 3 plus 7 is uh, 10. 10 plus 3 is 6 is 16. Plus 6 is 22. The sum is equal to 22, which is not a multiple of 3. So that means this is not going to be divisible by 6. So you're not going to get an integer value here. So in that case, I can say d is equal to 6 is not possible. So you don't need to entirely divide it. So you can always use the divisibility rule to eliminate the options. The next case is d is equal to 7. So I agree it's a little bit time consuming. d is equal to 7. So I can say that abc is equal to 3777 upon uh, 7. I need to check whether it's uh, divisible by 7 or not. So what I can do is either you can entirely divide it and check there is no particular rule for 7. So you can check 35 uh, 5 times. Uh, so you have 2 left over, it's 3 times 21, again 6 left over, it's not uh, exactly divisible. So this is not a possibility. Now what about uh, the next case is uh, D is equal to 8. I'm checking the next case D is equal to 8. So in that case ABC is equal to 3788 by 8. That's it. So what is the divisibility rule of 8? There is a particular rule that you can always remember. For 8, you just need to check the last 3 digits, okay? You just need to check only the last 3 digit is it divisible by 8 or not. So here in this case, you can see that last 3 digit is uh, 788. Eight. And I clearly again say that the close multiple of 8 with respect to this number is uh, 800, right? So 800 is a multiple, right? So definitely 788 eight is not going to be multiple. So you can we, can, we can say that since 800 is a multiple, the next multiple is below that is going to be 792. You subtract 8. So definitely 788 is not a multiple because close multiple is 792. So you don't need to entirely divide it always. Okay, You can use all these shortcuts to eliminate the scenario. So this is also not possible. D is equal to 9. The last case that you need to check. So ABC is equal to 3799. That's going to be your product. You need to divide by 9. You're going to get this 3 digit number ABC. So again, you can use the divisibility rule of 9. So divisibility rule of 9 means you just need to take the sum of the digits and you just need to check whether it's divisible by 9 or not. That's a rule for 9. So if you add all the digits, you have 3 plus 7, that is 10, plus 9 plus 9, which is a 10 plus 9 is 19, plus 9 is 28, which is not a multiple of 9. So that means this is also not possible. So... We checked all the all the scenarios, so there are only two possibilities. One is D is equal to 4 and D is equal to 5. But with this conditions given, we cannot consider this scenario. So I'm not eliminating. That means there are only one scenario and 
that means the value of abc is going to be uh, 936 that was a number you got right for abc and the sum of the digits we can clearly say option a is going to be the right answer you can eliminate option d because only one possibility and you are able to find the corresponding sum here so abc is the right answer uh, option a is the right answer